we have a tablet. In fact, this one is from Walmart. It's actually their last gen one. They just got new tablets. So this one was on clearance. As you can see here, I got this lucky tablet for $30 and it was 60, so about half off. Their newer tablets, I assume are gonna be way better than this. I just wanted to uh, get this one, see how it was gonna go. We can see here, seven inch LCD touchscreen, two gigahertz quad core processor, only two gigabytes of RAM though. That's gonna be a limiter. 10 hours of battery life, which is uh, not good whatsoever. 32 gigabytes of storage, that might be an issue. It has a micro SD slot for uh, expansion, so that's something. It has a camera, comes with Google Kids Space. Yeah, you'd only be getting this tablet if you're a parent wanting to get something cheap for your kid. I remember being that kid. My mom got me a cheap Kindle when I was younger. I still have it to this day, and it probably resembles this the closest. Comes with Android 11, which I know is not the current version of Android. That's a couple generations back. The screen is only 1024 by 600. That is not good. I mean, honestly, for it only being a two gigahertz processor at with two gigs of RAM, I mean, I'm not expecting much at all. And it's probably gonna help that it only has a 1000 by 600 display. Yeah, and it's basically just saying the same stuff two megapixel front facing camera and a two megapixel rear facing camera. I think that means both of the cameras are nearly identical. So I'm excited to try that out. Let's unbox this. Hopefully the camera quality isn't too bad. I had to switch back to my camera from my uh, LG. Oh well, just ripped the box. So hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, come on. What the, there we go. Ooh, a box within a box. Ooh, like opens up for you. We got the tablet right here. Should open this vertically, huh? We got the tablet. What else we got in here? Quick start guide, another guide in a Walmart. $10 off, wow fresh, cool. Is that it? Oh no, it's not. We got a charger. Oh, it is type C, so that's good. Hopefully this doesn't need charged. Uh, it might, but look at this. We got the tablet. This is kind of neat, the little front-facing thing, seeing where everything is at. Got a speaker down here, power, volume. Oh my gosh, it has a headphone jack? You don't see that very often. All right, let's take this off. Or not, I guess. Okay, let's get that plastic out of here. Right off the bat, this back. It's a cheap plastic, I can tell. I I just got a bunch of fingerprints all over it. Let me grab a microfiber cloth. I didn't even spray anything, I'm just wiping it down. It's not even gonna do much. All right, time for the moment of truth. Will it turn on? Power button's on this side. Hey, look at that. Probably gonna have to turn this vertically, which uh, it's kinda gonna suck, but let's do that. Wow, look at that, it's vertical. That's not bad. It's getting ready, it's doing something. Overall, I'm not seeing a lag or anything like that. It's probably gonna be a little slow. I'm expecting it to be pretty slow. It's gonna be pretty basic. Once we get this set up, we are going to test out basic use, you know, exploring the web, going on YouTube, maybe some other uh, social media sites to see how it handles that. Could not connect. I'm just gonna skip, I guess, I don't know. Oh, would you look at that. All right, we got it sideways. Everything's going good now. We just gotta test stuff. I don't know if I was able to finish what I said earlier. We're gonna test basic browsing, browsing the web, gonna go on YouTube, see how it holds up, see if it uh, lags or anything. See if I can also turn down this brightness for the uh, for the camera or the entertainment space. And this is what we have, just pre-downloaded. Calculator, so a lot of this stuff, it's pretty generic. What you'd find on any other device, camera go, that's funny. We're gonna be testing that. Let's stress test this. It's already doing bad. Keyboard could be better. It is loading. We're gonna go over. Oh, we're just gonna look up me again. Why not? That is me. That's indeed me. Look at that. It is lagging a little bit. We'll go to that. We'll put up another tab. Sure, we're open Facebook. I won't be able to sign in. Oh well, we're gonna open Instagram. I guess Yahoo, why not? 
we'll go to the new section or something, I don't know. Oh, it's chugging. Yeah, it's, it's chugging. It's trying. I don't know, it could definitely be way worse. Well, that was fun. Good to know that this uh, tablet cannot handle more than four tabs. Let's try some YouTube. See how the speakers sound. Let's see, uh, oh, I guess it's just gonna crash. Each time? Oh, I gotta finish setting it up. Okay, let me do that real quick. That's me. Let's see if I can pull up the stats. No, no stats, unfortunately. What is it running at? 360? Let's see if we can bump that up to, uh... Yeah, 1080. Just to ensure that this computer isn't going to get over... So we can kind of see that the speakers are not good whatsoever. It's running 1080p pretty well. I'm glad I can at least do 1080p video. I mean, there's no reason to. It's only a 600p display. So you're not really getting any of the, uh any of the frames you'd be looking for. But overall, browsing seems to be doing fine. Everything seems to load. I did end up going on Instagram and scrolling through reels for about five, 10 minutes, and it did start to lag and heat up a good amount. Yeah, right now there's a good amount of heat in the back. What do you expect when you pack a quad core inside of a little tablet? I do want to test out this camera though. All right, so this is the two megapixel camera. You got my setup. We got my camera. Yeah, this is uh this is pretty horrible honestly, but it's a tablet. The front facing honestly is pretty worse. It's just it's not good. I mean, if this was a phone camera, I'd be pretty disappointed, but for a tablet, you can get what you can get. A neat thing about this is that there is a translate feature. You're not able to really see it well because there's uh, nothing on the camera. But yeah, there's a translate feature, which is pretty neat. That should be included in all cameras, honestly. It's 2024. I was able to get my Xbox controller connected. It's actually pretty neat to see that I'm able to go through and basically explore the UI with the controller. That's pretty neat. As you can see, we got some games downloaded. We're gonna see how they run, see how they do. You know the drill. We're gonna start out with some Minecraft. Of the, all of the games that we test today, I assume this one will be the best because uh, it's only bedrock. Oh, we'll sign in later, it doesn't matter. All right, let's get into a world. We're going creative like we always do. I wanna fly around, see how that goes. And here we are. It seems to be doing all right. I did see a couple stutters here and there, but let's see what settings we got on, honestly. Definitely took a second. All right, video. Here we got fancy graphics. Render distance is six. Overall, this seems to be doing all right. It does take a while for stuff to load in, but you are on playing on a cheap tablet. There isn't much to expect. Besides that, you know, frame-wise, I'd be able to play this, honestly. If I was a kid with a tablet, this is how I would play Minecraft and I would not complain about it. Yeah, especially in survival mode when you're not loading all of these chunks and really trying to max this out. I think it would run pretty well, honestly. Yeah, just some normal tearing. We're not really dropping frames, that's the biggest part. I can deal with uh, the world taking a bit to load. I used to play on a Kindle, so I know exactly how this feels. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's all right. It's not the worst. I've definitely had worse experiences than this, but let's move on to the next game. All right, we're gonna be trying Fall Guys. I was gonna try to download Fortnite, but it would not let me, which is really a bummer. I really did wanna play Fortnite, or at least attempt to see how this would even run it. In fact, we gotta see if Fall Guys will even load. So it's been a bit, and we're still at this screen, so I'm probably just gonna have to accept that Fall Guys will not work. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a little bit more time to load, but it keeps just automatically turning off and as if nothing's going on, so. Yeah, nothing's happening. We're just gonna have to give up on this. All right, we're gonna try COD Mobile, see how that works, and then we're gonna stream a couple games from Steam, see how streaming works. But besides that, I mean, that's all I really have. I had trouble finding mobile games for this video. Hey, it's loading. That's all that matters. I don't even know if this has a tutorial or not. I played a little bit of it and it tried getting me into a multiplayer match and I didn't want to do that until I was recording. Just do like a guest account or something. Oh, we are loading in. Okay, I'll see you guys in the game. Let's get this game started. Couple stutters. We're on Nuketown. Yeah, that's me. $30 tablet, we're on low low graphics. We do have control support, luckily. 
There we go. I mean, it's honestly doing pretty well. I mean, I know I'm probably just playing against a bunch of bots right now, but I seem to be doing all right. I don't see any issues. Hey, victory, there we go. All right, I mean, that was running pretty fine, honestly. I had no issues with this. Let's go test some Steam games. See if we can connect to my, uh, my Steam. The computer's like two feet away, so um, it should be okay. It's looking like I can scroll through my games and whatnot. Let's play some games. I see the game on my screen, but not on the, uh, not on the iPad, which is very weird. We have something. Fallout 4 did not work, but this might. Oh, look at that. It's loading. It's getting there. We're in. Pretty dark, honestly. I mean, it's working. It's kind of chugging, kind of slow, but it's working. All right, let's try another game. We're in. Yeah, we'll just start the first level. Why not? Honestly, this is running pretty fine. It's a little dark for my liking, but that's for uh, camera purposes. I mean, honestly, I'm not seeing any dips or anything like that. Yeah, this is running perfectly fine. Oh, as I say that, there was just a dip there. This is running perfectly fine. I wouldn't have any issue playing like this. All right, well, at least we know it can stream Steam games decently. I won't give it any props. It's not doing it perfectly, but it's decent. Was this tablet worth it? Well, we gotta go over what's good and what's bad about it. The good things about this tablet is that the fact that it's $30, has USB-C, and technically can run pretty much everything. The downside to this tablet is the colors on the screen don't look that well, the speakers aren't that good, camera's not that good, pretty much everything. As you can tell, it's a budget system. Originally being for $60, this really was something that parents would want to get their kids if they did not have much money. Would I recommend this to someone? Honestly, I wouldn't be that upset about this. This was very comparable to my Kindle, and I grew up with that. So I understand having a somewhat slow tablet. And with the camera not being that good, like I said before, it's a tablet. It doesn't need to be excellent. It just needs to be all right. If it was a phone, that would be a little bit more of a reason to have a better camera, but it's not, it's a cheap tablet. I mean, if you really don't have the money for anything else, and if you literally only have 40 bucks, 50 bucks, yeah, this tablet's not bad. You can watch YouTube. You can play basic games. You can do what you need to get done on it. For anyone else who does have the money to actually buy a tablet, whether that's a used iPad or a cheaper Samsung tablet, those would be a way better option than this. Also, the fact that it's stuck on Android 11 does kind of suck with us being on, I believe, Android 13 right now. That means that this tablet will stop receiving security updates within a couple years. But anyways, if you guys like this video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later.